I've always enjoyed doing makeup. It, you know, when I was growing up, all my friends would ask me to do their makeup. In the early 2000s, Beverly Zetchi started pursuing makeup. She became a stay-at-home mom since her oldest son has special needs and she needed to take care of him. One day, she went to Nordstrom's to replenish the makeup that she needed. A makeup artist noticed her and offered her a job with a makeup company. I was recruited by Laura Mercier. And then through Laura Mercier, I started doing events and shows. Then I worked for Chanel. It's like four or five different cosmetic brands. And it just kind of grew from there. Then the next thing I know, I was hired per, uh, full time by Laura Mercier Cosmetics and became their lead makeup artist here in Dallas. When Miss Sachi was in the makeup industry working for Neiman Marcus, it took her away from working with private clients. She went back to teaching but still had lots of opportunities with clients through Laura Mercier. They started asking her to do their makeup for special events like big charities. Uh, like the one that's in Fort Worth, I always forget what it's called. Oh, Cattlemen's Association, uh, the Cattle Baron's Ball. She also does makeup for special events like weddings, proms, banquets, and more. And then I started partnering with other private makeup artists, and we would do big shows together. She doesn't use any advertising for her business. She gets her business by word of mouth. So these are my best sellers. They are a cream thread with gold as well. Um, the style itself, they come in a lot of different colors. There's like 10 different versions, but these ones especially just go with everything, and they're very, very popular. I started my business my senior year of college because I wanted to um, have an affordable way of my friends and I um, to get jewelry to wear to weddings and events and things like that. Miss Small started her business in college because she wanted a way to get away from the world and have a free space to chill. Making her jewelry helped her to relieve a ton of stress. And I needed like an outlet of a way of relieving stress and so I thought of something creative like making jewelry would be good for that. Miss Moss credits the success of her jewelry business with her friends who were her first clients. So when I um, first started Loops by Low, I actually named all the pieces after my friends because they were just so supportive and encouraging. Um, and then it kind of became like a, because I like wrote really like cool bios about them and everything. And then other people started like getting upset if they didn't have a piece named after them. So that was only for the first like six months, but it was really sweet. And like, I still remember those days of, because they're the reason why I am successful with it. For WSMS News, I'm McKenna Van. And I'm Cooper Anderson.